Hello guys, welcome to Binary Programming. In this video, we will talk about the most common and frequently used dependencies in our Spring Boot application. It is important for interview purpose also, as the interviewer might ask about the dependencies you have used in your project. So let's start. The first one is Spring Boot Starter Web. This dependency is used for building web applications including RESTful applications with Spring MVC. It uses Tomcat as the default embedded container. The next one is Spring Boot Starter Web Services. This is used for building web services, especially SOAP web services. The next one is Spring Boot Starter Timeleaf. This is used to build MVC web applications using Timeleaf views. The next dependency is Spring Boot Starter Security. It is used for using Spring security features in our application. The next one is Spring Boot Starter Log4j2. When you want to use Log4j2 for logging purpose, we should include this dependency. It is an alternative to Spring Boot Starter Logging, which is used for basic logging. Next one is Spring Boot Starter Test. It is used to test Spring Boot applications with libraries including JUnit, Hamcrest, and Mockito. The next one is Spring Boot Starter Actuator. It is used for Spring Boot's actuator that provides production ready features to help you monitor and manage your application. The next one is Spring Boot Starter Data JPA. This is the starter for using Spring Data JPA with Hypernet. The next one is Spring Boot Starter Data JDBC. This starter is for using Spring Data JDBC. The next one is Spring Boot Starter Data MongoDB. This is used for MongoDB Document Oriented Database and Spring Data MongoDB. Next one is Spring Boot Starter Jersey. It is used for building RESTful web applications using JAXRS and Jersey. It is an alternative to Spring Boot Starter Web. The next one is Spring Boot Starter Batch. This is a starter for using Spring Batch. So this is a short list of most common and frequently used dependency in the Spring Boot application. I hope you have found this video helpful. Thank you guys for being here.